Well, we've done with the Plenary Council round one. Now we have a nine month period of getting ready for Plenary Council part two, which will be when the assembled members of the council will consider a range of propositions and decide which ones to take forward, which ones should become the format and the, the legal framework for the church in Australia, what ideas we might suggest to Rome for use in the universal church. However, at the same time, or over the last week, the Holy Father has started the process for the next Synod of Bishops in 2023. It's a synod on the whole idea of synodality. As a number of people are now aware, the word itself means walking together or journeying together. But even in that little phrase in English, there's a difference in emphasis. For some people, it's about the walking together. For some people, it's being on the road. For some people, it's the nature of the journey. And for others, there will be a horizon of the end point, whatever that end point might be. Pope Francis is calling on the church around the world, something that's been described as the largest consultation ever held. Every Catholic, every member of every parish around the world is being asked to offer their views on the whole question of synodality. There will be a portal that will enable you to make direct contributions to what the synod will be thinking about. That'll be collated within dioceses and by the Australian Bishops' Conference and along with the Bishops' Conferences elsewhere around the world, that will all be fed into the process for the Synod of Bishops. Next year, we'll get a draft agenda. We'll see what the issues are that people around the world have proposed for the bishops to think about during this Synod. The Synod of Bishops itself is meant to be reflective of the church as a whole. Not the bishops as people running the church, but the bishops as representatives of the people in their diocese. And this synod, Pope Francis has chosen to make the process itself one that captures the views of wide numbers of people around the world. Potentially billions of people could contribute to this. And then when it comes to the, the crunch, I guess, next year, we'll get a sense of the actual topics that are going to be considered and an opportunity to make feedback about those topics and about how that should be done. This is all happening in the midst of Australia's own Plenary Council. And in that process, the Plenary Council is shaping part of what Australia's view will be. If you like, the people in the church in Australia have already had a beginning of this process. This is where Pope Francis is leading the way in a new and different way of governing. Not one which seeks to say there's not a role for those who are ordained, not a role for the bishops, not a role for the Pope, but that their role is very much as the representative of the people of God, whether that's in the parish, the diocese or the church universal. Pope Francis keeps making that, that the bishops and the Pope are the signs of unity in the church. But the other part that's just as important is about how we come to decision making, how we gain the views of ordinary people in the pews, ordinary members of the church. And I guess in the situation we are in Australia at the moment, those people who are no longer in the pews, those people who are no longer in the church, what is it that the church is not offering them? What is it that we're not doing genuinely about evangelization? That's part of the process. It's what synodality means. It means to journey together, trying to invite people on the journey with us to take part in the things that we find so exciting and so moving, because that's the mission of Jesus. That's the great commandment at the end of the gospels, to go out and preach the gospel to all people. That's what synodality is all about.